happy Monday. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it's already the 24th. That's kind of crazy. Anyhow, I am trying to, or I'm going to be setting up my bullet journal for at least the first couple of weeks or months of 2019. I picked this up from Hobby Lobby on sale. It was like eight bucks. So regular price is... 15 and I've never tried this brand before it's from the paper studio bullet journals that I use actually this blue one they're from um they're from Michaels and it's the artist loft brand so I saw I was browsing YouTube and I saw somebody I don't know who use a really cute bullet journal and I wanted to test it out because I knew, I know now that I'm into bullet journaling and I like it. So I just wasn't, didn't want to invest money into it, of like a ton of money, but I wasn't sure if I would like it. So I'm going to rip this off. If I can still find them on Hobby Lobby's website, I'll go ahead and link it down below. But oh, let's see. The pages feel actually relatively thick. So it's a dotted grid journal. You have the ribbon here and the pages feel relatively thick, which is really exciting because I want to start um, watercoloring in my bullet journal just because I think it would be fun because if I go on YouTube and I show this to you, there's this YouTuber I'm watching um, Cindy's plan with me catching up a little bit but there's this youtuber by the name of Jan plan things and she does watercoloring stuff in her notebook and it's so pretty so that's what I want to do in here so I'm gonna take this to work with me if I have time I'm gonna sketch out a design but I am really liking how thick this paper is. The one bummer about the Artist Loft is that I can't really use my, um, what is this called? My, uh, oh, it's in Japanese, great things. I think it's the Fude Nosuke touch pen tell touch pens I can't use these in the artist loft one just because the paper is too thin and it bleeds through I used that pink one earlier this morning when I was brainstorming a couple of things for the shop so I can show you that but it'll bleed through so here you can see that it started to really bleed through and shadow like right there is where you can see it bleed it it went ahead and blood through but yeah okay so right now I am on my way to work and it's so weird because the streets are so empty usually the street that's in front of our house that has cars constantly coming and going and it's always so loud and so noisy by the time that I leave the house but this today it's quiet <laughs> and I think it's because it's Christmas Eve and most of the businesses that are around us are closed so we have a lot of corporate companies that are around us and I think they're closed today <laughs> so um, traffic shouldn't be too bad I'm hoping tonight I'm gonna go over to I'm gonna come home for a little bit and then I'm gonna go over to my auntie's house because it's my cousin's birthday today. So I have her present and I <laughs> I don't think she was gonna like it. I think she's just gonna think it's okay, but I know for sure she's gonna love her Christmas present. At least I hope so. So anyhow, I'm gonna go over to their house. So I'll probably catch little snippets of that here and there. I am planning to bring my iPad so I can start sketching out a couple of, idea of ideas for the store because I have tomorrow, tomorrow, the 26th and the 27th are off. The 26th, I do have a doctor's appointment, but you know, who cares? Anyhow, that is going to be my day today. And I guess that's it for now. I don't really have that much to update you guys on. I never close out my vlog from yesterday or last week, I should say. I haven't been closing it out, so it's okay. Anyhow, I'm gonna head to work, get in early, leave the presents on people's desks, and yeah. Hey guys, so I'm getting ready to leave to go to my auntie's house for my cousin's birthday, Liner, which they started at three o'clock. It is now, let's see, 
by 40. So, anyhow, I wanted to show you the presents that my boss got me because it is awesome and I'm so happy. The first thing she got me was this little cute moose. He is so unbelievably soft. I'm calling him Sven even though he's not Sven, but he is so cute. I freaking love him. He's sitting on my computer chair. Um, then she got me this cute book and I saw this when I was looking at Amazon one day and I kind of wanted it but I didn't really know if I like what the point of having it would be but it's everything I need to know I learned from Disney and it's one of those little golden books I used to have a ton of these growing up but I just love it because like I don't know I just think it's so so cute but it's just like a bunch of little things and I just love it. It can go on my Disney shelf. And then she picked me up one of these and I've been wanting one. It's the Beauty and the Beast note card set. So it has 25 by 7 note cards and envelopes. And to be honest, I really wanted this for my bullet journal. My bullet journal. Um, but I also want to frame it and hang some of these because I think it's just so cool. I wanted to pick up the Mary Poppins and um, I think they had like a Sorcerer's one too. So I wanted to pick up that one. And then best, last, definitely not least, but the bestest thing she got me was this. And, um, oh, how do I do this? So I don't want to take it out of the box. But it's this figurine of Beauty and the Beast and it's so cute because it has like the actual book in the background and then it has like everybody. It's so, so cute. So needless to say, I was super excited about her present. And yes, at work we do open <laughs> presents in front of each other. I was so excited when I saw the note card set, the book, but I was blown away by the figurine. So I am stoked to put it on my Disney shelf, I just have to rearrange it. Brian's Andrew look is gonna have to go somewhere else because it is not gonna match with everything and so is my little 3D crystal Hello Kitty. She's gonna have to go somewhere else too, but I am so excited and I love it. So anyhow, I am going to pack up my backpack. I'm gonna bring my sketchbook, my iPad, a couple other things just to keep myself busy <laughs> at my auntie's house, but um, yeah, I also need to remember to bring my cousin's birthday present. And I'm just gonna go. So you might see some of that. Okay, bye. Brothers, 
um, at his friend's house, so he's there, and I am planning to pick up one of my favorite foods ever in the whole wide world. It's uh, carne asada nachos. And I was on the keto diet uh, beginning of this year, and I was doing really well with it. I was losing a, a decent amount of weight um, within a few months, and I was really happy with myself. I was going to the gym. I found like this new energy that I just never had before. And so it was great and I loved it. But then my uncle passed away and it was something that I guess you could say was so tra was very traumatic for me because um, I just never fully recovered from that, you know. And it Ever since he passed away, I have had a very difficult time. He passed away at the ending of April. It was finally in June that we were able to put him to rest. But ever since then, I just have not been able to stick to the keto diet full on. And I think it's just because I was stressed, I was depressed, I was scared. Just because he passed away from depression. And know the suicidal thoughts really got to him and I know what it's like to hear that whisper and I know what it's like to hear that voice and I was just for me it was just like am I going to lose my battle now because that's what always freaked me out I don't want to lose that battle and, you know every day it's every day I work at it and I, I just to see how that happened to me and my family it was really really tough and you know, it still plagues me till this day. I still have a hard time really talking about it and really just addressing it. But I know I need to do that in order to move on and to go back into doing this for myself. And there's just so many things I I know fall in line with that. And you know, going into 2019, I want my key word for that year to be selfish. And I want to start being selfish. I am a person who loves to, I'm the yes person. If you ask me to do anything, sure, I'll do it, you know. But that often stops me from going for things that I want to do and going for things that I want to achieve. So that's why I want to be that. I'm always that yes person and that's why it's always a bad, it's sometimes a bad thing to be that yes person because at the end of the day, sorry, I took a nap, so you know, boogers. Um, <clears throat> but the bad thing about being that yes person is the fact that you tend to sacrifice your own wants and your own desires and you start neglecting yourself. And I don't want that to happen. And I saw myself really slipping about that towards like October, September, October. And um, I started to lash out at Brian, I started to lash out at my family, and it was over things that I could control, but I chose to say yes to, if that makes sense. And so, this coming year, I really just want to take that word selfish and use that to empower me to say no. No, I don't want to do this. No, I don't want to continue to whatever. Ouch. Whatever it may be. So... The keto diet is something that I'm planning to go back on and planning to do again. I have been warned by my eye doctor not to do it, and I think um, you should have seen that vlog about it. But I am choosing to do this just because it's the lifestyle that had... I've seen a glimpse of the, the what it can do to benefit me and how it could help me. And that glimpse, I don't want... I, I love that. And that just gave me every reason to go and do it. I will see you guys in another video. I don't know if it's going to be a memory plan with me, a review video, or what. But I will see you guys in another video. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch Vlogmas and to give me a little portion of your day. I am so, so grateful and so thankful. And until my next video, guys, I will see you later. Bye. P.S. I think that has been the first time this whole vlogmas 
that I have actually put in an outro because I have not put in an outro in a really long time. All right, uh, I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna go now and get my carnes out of nachos. Bye.